So if you've been following the channel a while, you'll know that I recently built a baby five belly toad paludarium. Now we've, I've got videos on that build. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go and check them out. But as well, we added them in in one of the last videos. And when we did, unfortunately, I had to let you know that one of the babies had passed away. So we were down to three. Now, when we did add them in, one is a little bit skinnier than the rest because there seemed to be two dominant frogs, which seemed to be taking the most of the food. So we thought we'd segregate this one today, give him a chance to get some food, fatten him, her up, and we'll carry on doing that until we're happy. But with any new setup, we need to get some maintenance done on it today. It's a couple of things I want to tackle. Now we do, we did add some mondo grass in there in the original build, but unfortunately. I clearly don't know my plants because I don't think they were mondo grasses. They were just purely aquatic plants, which look very similar. So I've gone out and got some mondo grasses to replace them with now because they've gone all brown and very unsightly. But we'll do a little bit of maintenance, do a water change on it, the usual things. And I'll give you an update on how the setup is actually going a little bit later on in the video. So I think now we've got the correct plants in there, they're looking a lot better. Now they are more sturdy because they are more terrestrial, well they're not terrestrial plants but they like to sit in boggy water in the roots but keep the leaves out of the water. So they're great for paludariums but I think it looks a lot nicer than the dying plants we had in it. But I think, I just want to take a minute and I don't know about anybody else but I absolutely love moss and ferns, they're probably my favourite plants. And this moss is looking sexy. I don't know about you, and that might sound really weird, but it's really starting to grow out nice, starting to bush out nicely and create a nice shape and texture now. We've even got that going over the branch as well, where we added the terra tape, which I'm really pleased with. So probably a technique we'll use in the future. But I'm probably gonna add some more springtails in here because we have got a little bit of diatom algae, but that is about it. We haven't really struggled with the algae at all in this setup, which is great because I've got quite high lighting on here, but two grow lights on here, which won't be the permanent lighting. We'll be adding the extra terra canopy on here. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the plants are going. The asparagus fern is doing well. There's a little bit of die back, but nothing to be worried about. And the creeping fig is starting to creep along the background and hopefully it will be like that one very soon. that's a job well done another chance to just catch up on this setup as well but i'm hoping now that we'll continue with the little frog that's a little bit skinnier 
Um, I think that's been doing some good already, so we'll continue to do that before we let it set up go, because I don't want to let them go um, unless I'm happy with them. But the tank, like I said, is doing really well. I'm really, really happy with it so far. But I'll keep you updated on this setup as I do with all the rest. And if you are interested in this sort of reptile, amphibian or tropical fish content, then I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. As well, if you want to do any more to support this channel, these videos, and if you can drop it a like, leave me a comment, show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content, and we can get involved in a little bit of conversation. As well, if you want to check out in my merch, I've got the Royal Python t-shirt on today. We've also got some Fire Valley merch as well, which are perfect Christmas gifts for Christmas. But I will leave a link down in the description for any of those things. Any support you show, I'm really appreciative. But plenty of exciting things to come. But I think it's about time we got this frog back into the tank after its meal. And I'll catch you in the next video.